హలో ఎవరిబడి వెల్కమ్ టు మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ సో మై నేమ్ ఇస్ యువర్ అవీంద్ర టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ యూజ్ఫుల్ శాస్ టెక్నిక్స్ ఇన్ ఎఫికసీ అనాలసిస్ ఫర్ ఆంకాలజీ స్టడీ దిస్ క్లాస్ ఎయిట్ సో ప్రీవియస్ క్లాస్ సెవెన్స్ ఐ జస్ట్ గివెన్ ద ఓవర్ వ్యూ అబౌట్ ఇంట్రడక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆంకాలజీ టాపిక్స్ లైక్ ఎండ్ పాయింట్స్ డాటా కలెక్షన్ హౌ ద అడ్వర్స్ ఈవెంట్స్ ఆర్ రిపోర్టింగ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద రెసిస్ట్ గైడ్ లైన్స్ అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఆంకాలజీ స్పెసిఫిక్ డొమైన్ what are the censoring rules and confirmation rules and what is event oriented efficacy analysis what are the special statistics we used for the oncology these videos i have you know so already done these was event to overview about these topics and in depth topics in will do upcoming session so today i am giving some of the useful sas techniques in oncology study generally what we are using to get the efficacy analysis of this uh, efficacy analysis by using this procedure so efficacy time to event endpoints such as oral survival analysis and progression free survival and time to progressive uh, time to progression that is nothing but prostate specific antigen are typically evaluated by the survival analysis okay in the any survival analysis study the major endpoints like either os either pfs either psc okay so survival analysis while doing so always we are considering the censoring observation what is censoring so for example overall survival lenses the event is a death and the remaining subjects we can consider as a censoring subject in case of progression free survival the event is the disease progression and the remaining subjects who are not having that disease progression then we consider that, that subjects as a censor like last to follow up either in a no event those subjects we can call the censor observation these we can take into the consideration for this analysis okay so what is the uh, you know uh, survival time nothing but from the reference point to either event either disease progression okay so what are the common used procedures to give the survival related efficacy statistics like by using proc life test proc frag or proc life frag procedures we use generally so proc life test so this life test procedure commonly we use to analyze the survival data and provide the kaplan meier related figures by using this procedure so this is a non parametric method so non parametric method or non parametric nothing but this is a one type of statistical method so we are not assuming any specific form of distribution underlying the data so like you know normal distribution we can take the data and we do the proc life test method so that is why we can call it as non parametric method so we are using to produce the statistics like kaplan meier okay so here one of the example i show so this is a sensor de- survival data so a group we have four subject b group we have four subject and each time point so what is the censoring so here one nothing but the subject having the event zero nothing but the subject don't have any event that is a sensor okay zero is indicating the sensor one is indicating that the death or progression free so event was happened so by using this data by writing the proc life test so the time equal to the time variable and sensor equal to zero so always we consider the censoring subject and start up a treatment wise if you are writing this one so you will get the statistics like this so here the details i have given about the explanation of the data so the time and this is a sensor zero is the uh, sensor one is the event and this group column nothing but so two treatment okay so proc life test related so here the time is time sensor equal nothing but first time is the variable and for the time event the second part sensor equal to zero specify the censoring variable and zero indicate the censoring subject start a group nothing but so we are comparing the a drug with the b drug survival time and produce the plot equal to yes nothing but it this option generate the survival plot 
okay by writing this one so we will able to provide produce the kaplan meier figure like this in this y axis survival probability x axis the time related and the grouping variable is treatment wise so you can see the blue line is going up compared to the red line means the a drug which is more effective than the b drug okay so this is a non parameter method so normal distribution related type of data we use for this one so second procedure is proc uh, proc frag so by using this procedure we will get the cox proportional and hazard related regression we will get by using the proc frag so this is a survival time and one more predicting variable like we can call it as covariate so while assuming the hazard ratio constant over the time so here one of the data so this is the time part sensor age and treatment so age we can take it as a covariate or predicting variable okay so one is the event zero is the censoring subjects okay so this treatment is a categorical where age is a continuous data okay so like the data so we can use the proc frig procedure to perform the cox proportional hazard regression model okay so by writing this code you can see proc frig the class statement we can use it is a categorical data and model statement independent variable equal to dependent variable so here time versus sensor zero we always considering the sensor subject and age and treatment age is the continuous variable treatment we already defined the class statement so that is a categorical data okay time is the sensor survival time censoring the censoring variable we use proc frig cox regression method we are using to get the survival statistics okay so survival time sensor zero indicating the survival sensor data age and treatments are the predictor variable like covariate so here by writing this one we will get the parameter estimate related information as well as hazard ratio so hazard ratio is nothing but the risk of event happening so if we are getting the one value or above one value the risk is high if it is less than one you are getting that is lower the risk so parameter estimates nothing but coefficient showing the effect of each variable on survival okay so age and treatment age co variable right so these two variables so showing the effect of each variable on the survival so by age and you know the treatment a showing the uh, effect of variable on the survival so whether because age is more survival rate is less so age is less survival rate is more right like that and one more procedure here proc life rake procedure this procedure is used parametric survival analysis proc break and life test are using non parametric or semi parametric data distribution but here life rake is a parametric survival analysis okay so it you know uh, using the weibull or exponential or log normal related distribution type of data generally we we'll go for the proc life break so here you can see parametric regression this method assumes the survival time follow the specific distribution the data is normal distribution or otherwise we go for this two test break or life time but it is you know parametric survival analysis like weibull or exponential or log normal related data we use this proc life break procedure so here the data like this same data so if you are using proc life frag procedure class and model same but the distribution should be which type of distribution the data so here it is mentioned that one so we can change the distribution as per the data so you can replace the weibull with other distributions like exponential and log normal so you will get the statistics in this way like uh, so parameter estimates and estimation of the scales and you know hazard ratio related so we will get if you can calculate based upon the output so this three procedure generally we should use to get the survival analysis of the subject okay so we will this day discuss these things in detail with the course in upcoming session this is given the overview about the topics thank you